the preparations for Eid is amazing. Like if you go onto social media, everyone's asking for a scarf tip which they could wear on Eid, outfit tips like should we wear a champ suit or a suit. You'll probably see like half the Muslim community wearing a champ suit or suit this year, including me. Um, and then the makeup, then they like ask for advice like should we wear a red lipstick with a classic eyeliner or should we wear like a nude lipstick. So you can choose your style. And then once you have your fabric or you have your outfit, you can start playing around with different ideas on YouTube, on Instagram and see what would suit you. Or like you can ask your professional makeup artist, like will this suit my face, will this suit my features? Because obviously not every makeup style suits every person. I would start at like half past five, six and then straight through till like 10 ish I would work. But this year I decided to give myself a break. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a lot of people do love to get their makeup done professionally on Eid. I do want like beautiful lashes, like um, I'm thinking of going for extensions, we'll see, like I'll have to decide very soon. But either extensions or I love using the Ilio 117 textured um, lashes. They're like a very simple but wispy lash and doesn't look too fake on the eye. It looks very natural so I'm going to focus a lot on my lashes um, in between like a brown lipstick like a nudie brown not too like I don't want my makeup to be too dark for Eid I want to keep it like a bit of a neutral contrast I know there are a lot of people that can't find anything during Ramadan because even though the shops have like Ramadan sales and Ramadan specials it's not always things that you can wear I would like to say 80% of the Sarah Jasmine unique taste has to go into it because the customer brings an idea to you but she's not fully um, she's not fully sure that she wants that so you kind of have to build a structure from nothing it's like building a house you have to start with the bricks and then layer everything so that's how it works with building like um, designing a gown or designing a dress for Ramadan because most of my Muslim consumers during the Ramadan period they always go for something that someone hasn't seen before or they try to create a design or a gown that they can reuse but it also needs to be wow because Eid and Ramadan is like the most special time of the year. The finishing touch for me would be um, the applique that I add onto the garments is definitely flowers because I love flowers and I try to add those little 3D flowers on everything that I make and also it's, it's got to do with the label and the structure of the garment. Um, I try to keep it as clean and neat as possible and I try to also showcase my style within the garment. I try to make something look like Sarah Jasmine. My e-dress is going to be something um, full of flowers as you can imagine because I love flowers very much <laughs> and it's definitely going to be something that's super bright <laughs> like the colours are going to be crazy but um, that is all the information I can give you for now. <laughs>